finance is not neutral. It can either enable our aspirations for transformed societies or refinance injustices in the name of going green. The jet piece signals the important role of financing in addressing climate change and that our actions must be just and ensure that nobody is left behind. International financial architecture and its associated financial flows clearly illustrate power dynamics across the globe between developed and developing countries. Financing should be connected to environmental, economic, and social issues that we face. Climate financing or, or finance from the Western countries has often resulted in communal polarization and sometimes marginalization as well. Uh, some massive projects uh, have caused gross human rights uh, violations and extreme societal violence. Yes, the Global South is in urgent need of climate finance to transition towards renewables, but that funding cannot compromise the important values that we uphold as, as societies. The JTP deals have exhibited huge deficiencies in addressing some of these major, major issues that we have. Um, for example, uh, the issue of transparency, the issue of inclusivity, issues of accessibility of information. Our concerns are included in the principles that were drafted. Through the development of these principles by recipient country civil society, by community-based organizations, we can use these principles to hold decision makers accountable. We can drive demands and build solidarity. These principles serve as a critical organizing tool that show local aspiration and prevent the hijacking of the energy transition agenda by powerful interests. Vietnamese civil society were also not able, unfortunately, to participate in the process for developing the global principles that we're here to discuss today. And in Vietnam, the people that should be speaking on this issue are not able to speak. Vietnam's dedicated climate leaders, energy policy experts, community organizers, and others who have worked towards a just transition have been silenced. And this is at the heart of the question of a fair jet P. As others have mentioned, for example, the majority of financing is offered as at market rate loans rather than grants, putting forward a debt financing model of energy transition for the country. While governments and institutions involved in financing have obligations and policy commitments to human rights, public participation and against reprisals, these are not reflected in the financing framework. So over the past three years, authorities in Vietnam have imprisoned six prominent climate leaders on false charges. These arrests are part of a broader crackdown in Vietnam on independent civil society organizations working on environmental, climate and energy issues. And the imprisoned climate leaders advocated on Vietnam's power development plans. They were vocal about concerns, including ongoing reliance on coal. And the wrongful arrests have created a climate of fear and disabling conditions for participation in the JetP. Um, if we look at the global context, just to like how much money is actually needed, um, the best estimate we have is around 1.9 trillion per year in investment in the global south outside of China. And this is exactly where we face a lot of the um, challenges for the energy transition to take place, both at the speed as well as in um, a socially just way. As civil society in developing countries, we affirm that the global south has a vision of what we want our societies to look like and what financing should enable this aspiration. We call for a future where every aspect of the energy transition contributes to a profound and lasting change. Each of us, every community, should benefit from this change and create a justice-centered, more inclusive and resilient society.